about 8.15. I think I'm the first one leaving camp. Rain last night. Not for a long time, only about half hour. Cross the river again. And then swing around to the other side of the lake. Nice defined trail through the rocks. Okay. View of the glacier, which is part of the Southern Patag Patagonian ice field. Very thankful that it hasn't been raining much, or this would be one muddy, messy trail. Reminiscent of the Dientes, but it's actually not too bad. Happy that I'm the first from camp, so I can enjoy this all to myself. Okay, just got passed by the French couple who helped me on the zip line yesterday. Awesome, awesome people. This morning is rolling up and down until I get to the path. I'm going to sit on this rock for a few minutes just to enjoy this ice field. I think I'm supposed to be down there. Not up here. <laughs> Turn around. Cute little birds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Adorable. I'm trying to call over the little chicks. I'm so sorry for stressing you out. <laughs> it's just past 10 o'clock. I've been walking for about two hours. Oh, and I have to cross a river. dry up in a snap. Oh, mountains. Little lake. Interesting paths. I would have gone that way, but then I see this one going down and around and the French couple down there. The one frustration I have with this trail is that there's, there's multiple cairn paths. So you don't know which way is the best way. You just pick a cairn set and hope for the best. Hmm, I wonder if this is the start of the climb. Glacier popping out to the side and I see there's another cairn trail down there. But I took this option. <laughs> Running. Did I miss them? Maybe it's not a deer. Maybe it's a Morocco. Whatever this animal is. Climbing up the hill, doing the glacier lookout. Yeah, that's not a deer. That's a that's a, a garonko. It's kind of like a, a llama. Across two streams of a river. Hopefully, I don't need to get my feet wet again. This thing's making some crazy noises. <laughs> Past me while I've been sitting here chillaxing. Tried out my shoes for nothing because I went through a bog. Oh well, wet feet again. Great overlook. A little too windy though. Wind is picking up. Super pretty walking. Trails running right beside the glacier. A second but the wind is getting bad I'm finding it a little difficult to walk it's blowing me around thick thighs save lives I'm glad to have heavy legs
down from there. Some birds making a lot of noise. I'm happy to see you too. If I see birds, I know the wind can't be that bad. <laughs> branches and lower myself and it was very overgrown. I heard the descent is bad, but I haven't even started the main descent. I see icebergs. Must float in and get trapped in this little bay. I gotta I gotta go down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. really rooty area. It's almost like hurdle. The exposed edge. See what I mean by rooty? All those hurdles. Now it's straight down. Untie my shoelaces. Stopped here to tie my shoelaces before the descent. This descent is legendary and known as the hardest part of the whole trail. I got past and the steep down continued. See what I mean by insanely steep? Ugh. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. This is just outrageous. This is the type of thing I have to climb down. Okay, Sarah, time to rock climb down <laughs> with my pack and hiking poles. It's like a rock scramble area. Take my time and go slow. Oh, getting closer and closer to the beach. Yep, rock scrambling. <sighs> Here's the elevation profile. So this was day one, day two, and then day three, what? Look how steep down that was. That was an insane descent. Really, really steep and long and annoying. Okay, so I came down from there and then went into this brushy stuff. Oh, so nice not to be going downhill. My knees and toes are very sore. I am very tired out. <laughs> Wow. Something man-made. Camp this way. I'm going to go to a different camp. So I'm going to continue on the trail. I'm going to go up another two to three kilometers to the second choice. I was like, did I go to the camp? No, this is just a random camping spot in the woods. Oh, I guess my, maybe I can get some privacy and find my own camping spot but closer to when I get to the peninsula. Back in cow country, no cows, probably because there's no water, so they wouldn't want to hang out here. I see their poops, so they do inhabit this zone. Many bees, nice to see them. I love bees. I see you hiding, look at those ears. You're a cutie. I won't, I won't disturb you. Bye, bunny. Came around the corner. See the mountains and hello, wind. The edge of the glacier and iceberg bay. There's a whole bunch of packs. I took one. <laughs> I didn't know which one to take. I think I cut off the peninsula. of walking. I'm just gonna take that little spot over there. I'm quite settled on this spot. It's a little small but I was really dehydrated so having a break looking at the water. Pretty crappy pitch in there but I had limited space. Many birds come to visit me. It's all about having this view from the tent. Thank you.